So you've been playing tennis for a while and kind of feeling stuck at that 3.0, 3.5 level, or maybe you were just starting tennis uh, recently and uh, you were at that level, but want to close that gap and get to like 4.0 or a 4.5 level. Then today we'll be discussing the four simple things you can start incorporating in your game now that would help you reduce that gap and then also uh, start winning more matches. So the first thing we're gonna focus on is being at that level at 3.0 or 3.5, we don't have the power on our shots yet. So we're not hitting with that much topspin or slice. Um, so instead of focusing on power, it becomes really important to focus on depth. When you are at that level, you might be playing with players that are at that level as well. And when you can hit the ball deep, they either have to move back from the baseline to hit it, or they have to take the ball on the rise if they want to stay at the baseline, which is a lot harder shot to hit at that level. So you'll be putting your um, opponent in a lot of different and difficult situations for them to handle. That will help you also be more confident and uh, you know hit those shots more consistently when you're not really thinking about hitting it harder, but just focusing on the depth a bit more. Start winning more points and start winning more matches. And that's what we want, right, anyways. So the second thing we need to focus on is gonna be our serves. We focus a lot of our practices around uh, ground strokes, um, and maybe sometimes volleys, but mostly on ground strokes. Like you see players rallying back and forth, and then, you know, before their match, they're doing a warm up. They give like a couple minutes to hit a couple serves, but they just don't practice it enough. If you think about it, the, the, the shot that we start every point with as a server is the serve. It's one of the most important shots in tennis, if not the most important shot in tennis. Practicing your serves will just help you getting that first strike in. Also develop, developing a great second serve will help you close that gap because, you know, in the beginning, a lot of players have a good serve, the first serve, but on a second serve, they will just lightly tap the ball in and get the point rolling, which is okay. But if you want to close that gap and get to that next level, you want to develop a good second serve where you can still accelerate through your serve, but adding a bit more spin to the shot uh, and more and more margin over the net is just help you get even more consistent on your serves and start winning more points. If you look at some of the data on the Pro Tour, around 70%, which is a huge number, around 70% of the points are done before four shots, which includes your serve, then the returner hits the return, then you hit your serve plus one, that your second shot, and then the returner hits another shot. The four shots and most of the points are done before those four shots. So the serve becomes so much more important when you think about it that way that, and that goes all the way down to the club level. Uh, at every single level, the, the shots that we usually see in a rally are four or less, which takes us to the next point, which is point number three. Uh, and that is working on the return of serve. After the serve, the return of serve becomes the second most important shot because again, as a returner, we are starting the point with that shot. And if you look at players over the years that are at the top level, they've all been good returners, whether it's, you know, Iga Schwantek now, or, you know, Andre Agassi from time before, Novak being the biggest example, you know, Andy Murray, Nadal, they're all great returners and they're able to win more points, win more matches because they're able to get those returns in play. And once you start getting those returns in play as well, you will give yourself more and more chances to win those rallies that end before the four shots. Include your serves and your returns into your practice every time you're doing a practice session. And I promise you, you will see a lot of uh, gains and reduce that gap even faster. All right, so on to tip number four. And this is the most important one because this ties into everything we do on the court. If we can have great footwork, then we can get to more shots. If we can get to more shots, we'll be able to put more shots in play and able to win more points. So great footwork or even good footwork goes a long way in uh, becoming a better player and reducing that gap at each level as we progress. Focus on your footwork a bit more, stay a bit more active on the court, 
Uh, it doesn't have to be extreme movements or you know you have to move like the pros, but even just light movements like you know staying a bit more on your toes and just moving back and forth. Even if you don't split step every time, it's okay. Like, but if you're staying continuous and moving, it's a lot easier to push off to different directions and move on the court um, as opposed to doing it from a static position. Whenever you're playing next time too, just look, give that little extra focus on, you know, okay, am I moving? Am I staying continuous? Catch yourself if you're stuck on your heels and just say, okay, Next point, I'm gonna try to be a bit more active. So I hope these uh, tips help and uh, you know help you improve and finally get out of that 3.0 and 3.5 uh, level if you were stuck at that and then um, get your game going in the right trajectory, which is 4.0 and then 4.5 and so on. And if you'd like to watch a video on how to improve that footwork that we just talked about and how to move to the ball a bit faster, um, and also recover back a bit faster, uh, then watch this video next, and I will see you soon. Because I was going to say soon, and then I said shortly, and I was like, oh my God. All right, so we'll do it again. All right.